part number 19 of my Imperator Room playthrough. As appears, we have a claim against Moria. It's about 83% done. We're going to war the spear them as well. They have uh, 609 territories. I think the Seleucids had about 650 or 750. So it'll it's going to be a long one there as well involved. Our war exhaustion is coming down, but uh, it'll go up short, uh, relatively quickly. There's nothing really that can be done. Um, let's see when our... Invoke Devotio hits. Looks like it loses its juice in about uh, two years, January 19. I think if we hit it again, uh, that'll raise our burn there even higher and extend the life of it uh, out to 641, at which point hopefully we'll be able to do it again. We're making 61 gold per. Uh, we have a lot of mercs here on the board. A lot of horse archers that I was using for the War of the Spear. I'm going to keep the mercs on um, and move these uh, troops to the front so when the claim hits, it'll be actionable. I had to uh, retreat these mercs back here to food-friendly territories as many of the provenances toward the front are running very low on food. I'll ship them up quickly on our Laborian fleet as uh, that becomes available. I need to disband all of our mercs. There's not really a point at this point because we're maxed out on war exhaustion. But anyway, um, I dredged up some money. I, I dredged up a lot of money using the macro builder to uh, essentially destroy any and all um, barracks, uh, mines, tribal settlements, provincial legations. Uh, granaries, libraries, training camps, and I think that was the, and mills, that was the extent of it, but it, it was about 16,000 I spent uh, some of the funding building aqueducts and, and whatnot. We are ready to start that war against Moria. I uh, moved, uh, spent quite a bit of my money that I raised by ra uh, destroying all those buildings and have moved pops into our new cities here and I'm building out quite a few aqueducts and various other buildings, academies and such, theaters and whatnot. So I had earlier mused about perhaps in uh, urbanizing the entirety of uh, the Illyrian region. It's, it's looking like it's probably going to happen by the end of the game. And now back to warring. I have a lot of mercs that I bribed during the Seleucid War that I kept on. I'm still running positive. The only problem is food, so I had to uh, bring some of these larger uh, merc stacks back and I'm presently reallocating them or redeploying them forward. It's going to be a while. The claim already hit. We have uh, an actionable Imperial Challenge available here. But we'll just have to wait. Uh, some of these units here need the food topped off. Anyway, uh, so I'll get back to you when we start the war. We're not exactly optimally positioned and we're not exactly uh, in a food friendly position either. So I'm just going to start the war so we can eat the enemy's food. We'll carry on here. The opening round is uh, uneventful. I'm moving this massive fleet up in here. We're going to disperse. This is a dead mic overdub. We're in the middle of this war here, about to unload a, a significant number of forces here and disperse. We are really as yet to encounter any resistance, any at all. Um, sort of strange, but it, it often happens. But usually by this point, I run into uh, some armies somewhere. I think he's at war with um, a revolt. Uh, his own. Uh, it's a very small revolt, but I, I suspect he may have over-deployed to it. It's those two purple provinces or territories to the east there. It's my best explanation. Where this guy is, I have no idea. I, I, I met one army so far and defeated him. It's, um, I think he started, what, 609, and he's down to 486 territories. I have seen, seem to have found another army here as to where the rest are. Maybe he was, Moria tends to wait and then try to bushwhack you or ambush you once you've overextended, but I think when he waits here, he loses the ability to call up as many of these, uh, uh, 
levees and such in his, his regions as uh, they're getting carpet sieged quickly with these horse archers so that's my best explanation other than he's he's obsessed on these revolt territories here as well it's about half done uh, we run into a couple of armies somewhere there's one here but it's it's uh, it's over for that army really essentially I'd probably get stack wiped and then um, I think that's it Yep. Found a few more armies right here. We have received a bountiful harvest event. It gives me a cue. I need to uh, raise one of these holy sites here so as to get myself some. There we go. Stability. Another 10. Doesn't hurt. On we go. We just sacked the uh, former Morian capital for 13,003. We're, we're loaded again. I'm going to do some city building or move some pops about to see if we can get our capital provenance rolling along. We're going to need a new city here in uh, Metion. I think we'll build two. Maybe move some pops to uh, into these new cities. Only four cities here. All we need to do is find out where to build it. Looks like that's the spot right there. Let's do it. We're going to need one here in Faros as well. Here goes well. We are, uh, he's down to 149 territories. I've been working on getting more pops here to our uh, mega region of Illyria here. We have uh, 6,600 pops or so now. <clears throat> I've uh, evacuated much of Greece. I have most of it set for no promotion. So they'll end up here at some point. There's also quite a bit of migration going. I don't really want to spend the money right now. And there's a lot of, uh, well, there's only so much that can be done for assimilation and conversion. I moved all the slaves out, but these guys, uh, you can't move the uh, uh, citizens and freemen and, and nobles and such. But as you note, there's there are quite a few uh, uh, pops coming in and they'll, they'll convert and assimilate at some point. Uh, these four provinces here, it's quite a bit of uh, mig uh, migration incoming there as well. Our other holy site here has a fair clip. And this uh, other holy site here has a fair clip coming in as well. <clears throat> I went ahead and built temples and uh, theaters in all of these areas here. Using our religious endowment to add a, a, a building slot so as to allow for the temples and theaters and such. At some point when I get done with all this warring, uh, which would be uh, a little bit left here against Moria, the form, form, uh, present incarnation, and then Dravidia, we'll, um, I'll probably have quite a bit of money and I can move uh, quite a few pops out to these coastal territories here or cities, uh, build a port, and this one has a port as well. I can just move a bunch of pops to the coast. Carthage comes to mind, a lot of these areas here, etc. Uh, and then I can just overpopulate these areas slightly, like the Roman ones here. I can build co uh, uh, ports, and then they'll uh, migrate of their own accord here to our cities and, and save me the trouble of moving them. Uh, see how uh, I'm gonna, curious as to how many pops I can fit in our new mega region. And normally uh, we would be located here in Greece. This uh, we start. I think this was the capital originally, Pasaran. But you'll note that uh, the placement here. Is not really close to anything where you, you could really move pops to the area. Illyria here, uh, specifically uh, our capital region or uh, provenance of Libernia, is sort of centrally placed relative to a great many things. And I've been able to empty a lot of these pops from about the area here right into this capital provenance. That combined with uh, the migration should allow for a, a sizable influx of pops over the next 90 years or whatnot that's left in the game. War is winding down quickly. It's nearly over for him. He came up with a last minute peace deal. We'll not accept it though. It's nearing the end for him. He has two territories left. And it is over for him. Now we can uh, pick up our uh, troops and such from this area, head down to uh, Dravida immediately. I see no reason at all why we shouldn't declare this war. No case of spell line. 
It looks as though it's 99.27% done. We'll just wait. Our claim just hit here, and let's go ahead and declare the Imperial Challenge War. It's nearly over for him. It's about to be over. Boom. We should make quite a tidy sum once I get done uh, firing these mercs. We're pulling down about 500. I'm going to evacuate this area, file claims as I can or, or whatnot. Uh, we can upgrade one of our wonders here. Maybe we'll wait on that. I'm going to build a few more cities. Build a couple more cities here. We have um, the PI to do it as well as I, I believe that Providence has plus one religious endowment building capacity. I didn't show a whole lot of that whirlwind tour. I figure why not do a time lapse of the uh, Seleucid and uh, uh, subsequent uh, War of the Spears or uh, Imperial Challenge Wars. We're clearing out here. I was going to group up here and get on the fleet, but I have these horse archers force marching down towards uh, Egypt here. We're going to uh, declare a new war of the spear against them, uh, trigger Carthage as well. We'll hire some mercs over there. I have um, these units on board the, our fleet. We're going to head up towards uh, the former uh, Seleucid capital here. There's a nice port we can get on our roads that we built and head down to Egypt. Uh, he's allied with Nabatea. We'll probably send one of them down the slot here. We've arrived back uh, near Egypt. He seems to have conquered quite a ways down. I have the fleet uh, headed back. We're going to probably end up picking up some units and dispersing around in here. Figure uh, we'll just get the war started and let uh, the chips fall where they may. Andros, I see. Well. These two new cities just hit. I have the funding. I'm going to populate them. Well, it would seem as though I've clicked the wrong button for the Imperial Challenge. Truth of the matter is, I've, I think I've had my fill of the Imperial Challenge over here. The Seleucid, uh, Morian, and uh, Dravidian campaigns were fine. Uh, we'll just do a normal war here. It'd probably be uh, quicker and out. We have a 99 war score. Carthage is completely occupied. Let's go ahead and separate peace. Left six on the board, but took this inland territory. It should be easy to uh, reaccess this by the sea. We'll take a bunch of AE. Oh, well. The war is still running just slightly. I'm going to invoke Devotio again just because I want to get a higher tyranny to burn down this aggressive expansion and keep the ball rolling along until uh, five more years, I think. March 24 of uh, 649. So we could do another War of the Spear, redeploy up against Armenia, which oddly enough is a major power. 93 it is. As long as we're in the area here and have a high AE, I, I, I filed a claim against Hadramut and we can trigger uh, Quataba as well. Just thinking on building a few more cities. I have one here and um, this area as well. Finally stumble across the crocodile of Crocodopolis, where other than Crocodopolis. I think I must have been thinking of the starfish of Gator, or, or, or I think it's in Bambis, I need to get that. ASAP as well. We've grouped up here, we're gonna roll our uh, sail up to Armenia and uh, War of the Spear. I'm also gonna start uh, moving these pops into uh, coastal cities so the migration can happen. I'm gonna max out the population like so, just from wherever, really doesn't matter. Build um, temples and theaters in all these areas so hopefully they'll come converted and assimilated I'm not holding my breath regarding any of that really though we're at the point where uh, the the warring here is is essentially irrelevant uh, there's no point in really showing any of it uh, there's no question as to the outcome we have a lot of uh, we could call up even another 150 cohorts. We have uh, zero need of them. I probably will uh, disband some units uh, so as to get more money so that I can move more pops to coastal provinces uh, throughout uh, 
the uh, various regions of our expansive empire here, build some ports and, and <coughs> uh, theaters uh, where there's not already. Helen is, is a, and there's uh, quite a bit of it about already. Um, along those ends, we are going to try to uh, completely urbanize uh, the re mega region of Illyria here. Presently has 7,163 uh, 7, pops. Um, the urbanization campaign is uh, perhaps a little bit more than halfway complete. We're going to try to finish it by the end date. I think that the macro builder can be used to optimize the uh, migration mechanic. For instance, there's an aqueduct here. I think there's one here. There's one here. You can use it to reverse build or delete. The aqueducts making the maximum capacity obtainable with less pops. There are actually not enough pops really to get all of these coastal cities uh, activated or, or, or filled. So I need to uh, destroy the, all the aqueducts in the cities and then redeploy the pops uh, toward the coast. Uh, I'm going to start with Italy as they're already Hellenic and work my way out from there. There's quite a bit of money that I saved up during a, a fairly non-eventful war over here against uh, Armenia. Well, I made some headway uh, by deleting any and all aqueducts that I found on the map anywhere. Over here across board I just need to clean up the population which probably is going to have a few overpopulated zones but really not as many as you might yeah, there are a few I'm gonna move these overpopulated areas onto grain territories there's not really all that much of it and it gives me an opportunity to feed my ever-growing mega region out Armenia and the day here gonna head over to Wusan and company here let's uh, build a few more cities while we're at it I think we need one here, clearly. And let's uh, plop one down here as well. Let's plop one here in uh, Clan Data as well. Boom. That's three of them. I have been spending most of my gold. Uh, I consolidated all the um, primary culture pops about in here and started to migrate them over slowly uh, as uh, capacity becomes available. There, there's uh, some along in this axis. I'm going to use my 8,500 or thereabouts and move them, uh, this is the route here to Dur. This long provenance connects this to the steppe, sort of. Then you can go to Dur, there, there, here, and then you're as good as home. Marching back from the east, cleaning up the area as we go, uh, and every now and again we trigger technologies available. I presently have one. I've been working my way down here towards the, um, another 25% uh, bonus to our max research as if that really matters but this does 10% tax and four building slots for our capital so what does that do to our disposable income 579 goes to what was that hmm. we also got uh, four building slots in our glorious capital and we'll build more aqueducts to increase the uh, migration attraction. We've already have uh, we already have 24 from the additional population capacity, and there are more than a few coming in from well, essentially everywhere, right? Yep. On we go. Finally located the sacred fish of Aragadas. It's in uh, Bambik here. Let's get it to the capital ASAP. We'll have the sacred fish as well as the Colossi of the Pharaohs. We sacked the uh, former Antigonid Kingdom's capital for 16,000 or thereabouts. That's the most I've ever seen. We can reform the Argid Empire. Well, why should I do it? Why should I? We'll turn that off and uh, we'll not have that uh, color. We're going to keep it a Pyrrhus color. Holy moly! Boom! We're sort of well positioned for a War of the Spear proper. It can take Egypt to straight out without much trouble. Andros and Carthage long for the ride. 
This is nice. I think we can find a place for it in our capital. Top capacity, research points, trade routes. Uh, continuing mop-up work, just annexed Kush and Mosul, and I'm on my way up here with three armies to um, open up the access point, uh, the choke point, uh, here with these regions, or provinces. Um, uh, these tribes are blocking the free flow of pops from, from this uh, area here down into our mega provenance. Over the course of the game, I've Lately, uh, but over the last maybe 20 or 30 years since I came into quite a bit of money, I was able to extract quite a few primary culture pops here from the steppe. It's actually uh, not really as long as you might note. Uh, you can get them here to this long provenance. You can stage them along this river and then move them as funding becomes available right here uh, into this uh, long provenance. And then as I've noted before, here, there, here, boom. There are presently um, 9,721 pops there. At this point, is there any uh, real reason to uh, continue uh, moving pops to Illyria? No, no, there's not. I'll never have any need of the uh, present to 769 uh, potential cohorts that I've brought up in the area. But uh, I just want to see how many I can I can move there over the course of the game until it times out in uh, the mid 700s. Uh, we're going to annex these tribes next and, and just sort of mop up as it uh, as it happens. Um, primary culture mostly. Uh, we have no food problems as I've um, uh, condensed many pops onto grain territories here and continuing to. Um, as money becomes available and there's quite a bit of it too I just took that area but uh, generally speaking all of these coastal provenances are going to have very near the maximum population and at some point they should want to uh, migrate to our capital area uh, that's not exactly happening yeah they're, they're not going to our capital area though well a great many are though that that would be the truth of the matter. Let's see here. Yeah. I'm going to continue that. By the way, uh, anyone interested in uh, mass migration such as this, I would uh, highly recommend a two-handed uh, mouse grip. You can use your off hand to control the location of it. Then your primary hand, uh, uh, non uh, use the middle finger perhaps, uh, it's a larger finger and not as often used in the normal course of, of play and or other activities on your computer. And uh, click it with that. So it's a two-handed approach. It's easy on the hands and it's uh, probably a little quicker than not. Continuing to clean up the board as per uh, World Conquest. Uh, knocking out Iberian tribes and whatnot. I, I make a lot of money. I have quite a bit in the bank. I was wondering how hard it would be to... Um, relocate the pops from Venetia down through Pannonia into our mega provenance here which I have been uh, continuing to urbanize uh, have I gone a little overboard on this yeah yeah uh, will I probably ever do this again no so I may as well get it done while the doing is is good well about nine or ten K gold later all of the pops from this area have been moved here it's about 244 of them. It didn't really take all that much time either. And, and then getting them to the uh, uh, pr uh, our provenance here of Libernia is uh, considerably, it's, it's probably the easiest provenance to access via if you want to be into pop moving of any uh, provenance in the game so far as I've been able to tell. I was playing a game a little while back as Mastodon and I was trying to get some pops over here and there's quite a few uh, provenances, uh, oddly shaped, you know, sort of forming a wall like this one. You can go from like here to there, end up here, uh, and then you go here, and then here, uh, here, and then to the cities and such. The thing is, it looks uh, further than it really is due to the uh, these long provenances. For instance, if you get the, the uh, pops here, 
you can then move them here this long provenance which is going straight towards our capital and then here and then boom you're essentially in the capital provenance right there another long one here long one there and a long one here you know, the, uh, if you watch the boss burn playthrough that I did a while back, there's there's a wall here, sort of. This provenance and this one, they're very long relative to how you'd want to bring the pops down. So you have to go here and then here and then here and then here and then finally here and you're in, in the capital. Again, these provincial shapes are very uh, advantageous for moving pops. This one is long in the right way, bringing pops in from the step. You get to here 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 boom edged up some more pops here from macedon and greece and uh, and moving them up towards uh, through this region up toward the capital which i recently placed a couple of 15 percent artifacts so there's a a lot of capacity now uh, available so what i'm going to do is uh, move these pops up there presently uh, here about uh, 75 or thereabouts more than there should be so i'm going to move wrong culture pops into uh, cities with a lot of right culture pops like this one for instance has a fair number of well primary culture 103 it's almost all primary and the ratio is right so i can take any and all primary culture slaves out of here and then move them up toward the capital where they will promote uh, readily Boom! And just got a breakthrough. We're going to embrace philosophy and get our research rate up to 225. Well, there it is. I just finished uh, mopping up the rest of the uh, warring for the campaign. Uh, there's uh, There are quite a few pops that I have moved uh, from these areas uh, into our mega region of Illyria. Even Greece, you'll notice, is nearly completely cleared out. I've been moving pops as required by the mega region. You can uh, cram quite a few pops in there it's it's easy to feed them all uh, most of these uh, spots here are urbanized uh, there's some food problem uh, here it, it, it seems to be the only provenance where there's some degree of question whether it can feed itself and I think I put a put an end to that question some time back I, I put another um, used a uh, religious endowment to uh, build more marketplaces there so each of these cities here should have a sufficient number of marketplaces and academies to uh, sustain itself how many pops are here there are 11,727 in the mega region of Illyria and there are uh, 4,925 in our mega province of Le uh, Liburnia our mega territory or capital is a, a mega city proper it has 972 pops uh quite the capacity it has a serious amount of uh, migration going on i can scroll down here and just keep scrolling and keep scrolling and keep scrolling and keep scrolling let's let's take a look here and see uh i think if i let the um the, the program run for uh sometime i'm pretty sure we could get a lot more pops there they're coming from all kinds of um well essentially everywhere right again yeah i have um let's see uh, four holy sites which allow for this i i deified my ruler early i, I gave um pyrrhus plus two stats i give all of my rulers plus two stats um just because i don't like to <clears throat> have to jump through the hoops that, that make it uh, make one able to add stats to the various characters I don't like to build those wonders just like I don't like to call up and disband levies all the time I, I don't mind moving pops for whatever reason but perhaps I get enough real-time sort of dynamic interplay during war and I just sometimes will just sit back and turn on YouTube radio and, and move some pops and whatnot <coughs> Whatever the case, uh, let's see how we've done it. Uh, we have um, quite a few. Uh, there's um, religious artifacts, the uh, sacred fish of Artagatas, Colossus, the statue of Mithras, Ben Ben Stone, the base, capital, metropolis, etc. All those are augmented by a serious number of state infrastructure, omens that I've uh, enacted. 
and um, there are a few religious endowments there as well which add to the number of uh, buildings that one has available you'll note here these are some serious modifiers I have uh, four holy sites um, the main one here is is in our capital the other one here a mere 30 uh, migration attraction there's another here with uh, 37 migration and here is another uh, portal, a port city with a 34 migration attraction. There are a lot of pops headed towards the capital provenance. Every single city here is, is highly augmented. As you'll note, there's a very serious capacities essentially in all of these. There's a lot of buildings that still could be built. Um, this is allowed by the, the religious artifacts, as, as well as the various other things I have uh, mentioned earlier, the mostly straight state infrastructure, but we have a map of the world, Ben Ben Stone. This one is nice, uh, gives um, a pop capacity, research based trade routes, it's nice. City building slots plus two, another plus two. That's another four aqueducts that can be built, and with all those bonuses, I think they each of those aqueducts gives over the um, <clears throat> Let's see what would happen if I build an aqueduct here. I'm pretty sure it ends up being more than, yeah, it gives plus 12 if not more. And uh, adds more to the migration attraction. So for every aqueduct we build, we can send more pops to the area than the aqueduct would uh, house. So it's, it's, we could build more and more and more and more. So that's, that's how that's done. The, um, the deification thing doesn't really take off until almost it's almost irrelevant. The game was essentially, by and large, over about episode, what, 10, 11, 12 or something when we got into it with Rome and then Rome got into a civil war. We got into it with him again. And then uh, we got into it with him and the civil war again. And that was essentially the end of that, really. It was just a matter of mopping it up at that point. Um, we took out the Seleucid via War of the Spear, uh, Moria via War of the Spear and Dravida. And that was essentially over. Um, that was ag almost about the time when, when this really started taking off, these investments here. Um, the state infrastructure began to compound so that you can transition from a, more of a war early and mid-game into, if you like that sort of thing, you could use it to pop, uh, build the infrastructure necessary to have a mega provenance or mega region or, or mega city uh, in, your, in your capital. With that having been said, um, it's a pretty fun campaign. Um, will I do uh, do this again? Uh, probably not like this, but um, i probably do another um, Imperator Rome campaign. Maybe I'll let it run. Uh, you know, maybe you get a like or two or drop a comment or something if you want to see how large the city or province or region can get. You want to see the rest of it in, uh, urbanized completely, the whole region. Drop a comment, who knows? I'm going to put this game down. I don't think the last episode comes out for another, uh, you know, 20 days or, or more or whatnot. I'll probably uh, be more inclined to uh, continue at that point. I hope to see you in the next uh, series, whatever that may be.